traders, it's exciting because it's that time of the week where we have more swing than Louis Armstrong and Frank Sinatra combined. Um, it's time for the weekly forecast. I uh, feel like a game show host. Um, guys, yes, yeah, stay tuned because I'm going to give you all of my swing trades for this week. Okay, I'm also going to attempt some swing jokes right so i apologize for those in advance in fact i haven't got any left so if you've got any swing jokes please leave a comment below this vid we would love to hear them and i will use them right guys yeah we're going to look at the swing trades for this week let's start with the elephant in the room right i was about to say a terrible joke there anyway swiss franc and japanese yen on Friday, were stronger than Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sly Stallone combined, right? These were super strong. Let me do my bicep that looks like a dinosaur, right? That's a bicep. Um, so they were super strong guys, right? Now, uh, we're thinking, oh, why were they so strong? So there was, you know, potentially there was BOJ intervention. There was something to do with a new prime minister in Japan, you know, they were at very good technical levels. It could be something as simple as that. But regardless of the reason, they were very strong on Friday, right? They kept, Most of them come hurtling down. Now, has that led to trades? And the answer for me is no. So I wanted to start with this because I want to explain why I'm not touching Swiss franc or yen pairs. There is one Swiss franc pair I'm looking at. So stay tuned and I'll, I'll give you that as well. So if you look at the weekly chart, these are swing trades. So I'm going to look at weekly, monthly, right? Now, look at this, right? You pick any of them. This is Aussie dollar yen, but it could be any of them, right? Aussie dollar yen, we're in a downtrend and we've had a really nice bearish wick. So this could, you know, be a nice trade back down to these lows, right? If you saw the weekly chart, you'll be thinking, yes, Tom, that's a wonderful trade, right? But look at the monthly chart. You know what I mean? Like, we're in a unique situation, actually, guys, because Monday is the end of this month, right? And unless something really drastic happens, these candles are pretty much going to look like this. And would you want to sell into these monthly candles? And the answer is no, right? You do not want to sell into them. That, that looks just like a wonderful buying opportunity to me, right? So... You know, that's the reason we're staying away from yen pairs and Swiss franc. I mean, let's take a look at any Swiss franc pair. Let's take a look at Canadian dollar Swiss franc. And again, if you start with the weekly chart, right, in a downtrend, okay, come up to this level of resistance, very bearish candle, you know, can we take it back down? Now, I'm not saying you won't be able to take that back down or price won't come back down. But what I am telling you is... If you look at the monthly chart, I do not want to sell into that wick, right? I just don't. You know, trading is about finding high probability trades. And if you're selling into a wick like that, I say your trade probability is heavily reduced. Simple as that, right? And if you just look at any of them, let's look at one more example. You know, any one at random, right? Pound yen. Look at that monthly chart. Right, this is the monthly chart. Come back to the moving average 20. Look at these wonderful wicks we're getting. It's telling us to buy all day, right? Go to the weekly chart. That is telling us to sell all day, right? Back at a level, yeah, bearish reaction. Even touch the moving average 20, sell it. So for those reasons, guys, I'm just staying away from Swiss franc and yen pairs. Although there is one Swiss franc pair I'm looking at, and I'll share that shortly. Um, so yeah, we're staying away from them, guys. So let's focus on my actual trades now, okay? And we're still seeing this euro weakness, okay? So let's start there. Now, my first uh, swing trade idea, grab your partner by the hand, let's do this. Um, is Euro Aussie dollar. Okay, so you can see we was, you know, had a real super bullish uptrend and then price has just broken down ever since, right? And really key here is that we broke this low, right? So we're getting lower highs, 
lower lows we're in a downtrend and we have room to move into back down to these lows all right bearish big bearish candle as well lots of things to like so probably looking for a retrace and then back down to this level and i've just got to show you the monthly chart here like look at look at that right you don't get more bearish than that candle again you couldn't buy into that not that we want to but you just can't right um and we're selling it so this supports our idea as well so euro aussie dollar sells um euro new zealand dollar sells and also guys worth pointing out aussie dollar and new zealand dollar are stronger than hulk hogan and the ultimate warrior combined right that's pretty strong um now monthly chart okay monthly chart yeah we, we wouldn't normally start here but monthly chart sort of supports our idea but if we look at the weekly chart guys again very similar scenario to euro aussie dollar right it's broken this last low okay we've got lower highs lower lows great big bearish candle and we've got room to move into back down to this support right again you know i will wait for a retrace and then take it lower um, just to carry on this um, New Zealand dollar, Aussie dollar strength, uh, let's take a look at pound New Zealand dollar. This is also a trade idea for this week. Um, so, yeah, just looking at the weekly chart, pound New Zealand dollar, right? We're breaking down. We're starting to see lower highs, right? Lower lows. And I think we've got some room just back down to this level. And this is a key level for buyers, guys, in here, right? That would be a really, look at that, look at that trend line. Look at this support. That will be a very nice area for buying, okay? But until we get to that point, we're selling. Um, so, yeah, again, uh, looking for a retrace and then take price back down. Um, guys, and also, yeah, please feel please feel free, get my teeth in, uh, to leave a comment. Like, if you like any of my trade ideas or you're looking at something slightly different, then please leave a comment below the vid, guys. We'd love to hear from you, all right? Don't be shy. Um, also, guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash the notification button and smash that like button, guys, because it really helps support the vid. Um, merci beaucoup. We've got so many trades, guys. What else are we looking at? Okay, so let's carry on this Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar strength. Um, the next one is Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. And Aussie dollar strength would suggest we're going to buy it. And that is the case. Now, if we go to the monthly chart, right? If we look at the monthly chart, there's still some room. Okay, so we've got some room back up to this 9,400. Okay, so that's the target, more of a monthly target because we've broken all these weekly highs. If we go back to the weekly chart, you can see we're in this channel, right? This this trend, uptrend channel. It's basically doing that, right? Now, we're at the top of that channel, you know, and that acts as resistance. So, you know, that suggests we will get a bit of a retrace you know, potentially lower, right? And then we can start buying Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar, all right? But I want to buy this. I mean, it's just broken all of these highs. We're in this uptrend on the weekly, right? Bull bullish candle, bullish, you know, very bullish candles, retrace, come back up higher, okay? And if I don't get a retrace, guys, I don't trade it, right? I Simple as that. I, I want a retrace because I want value, yeah? Um, so yeah, Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar buys. Um, also at this point, guys, the, the editor will kill me if I don't mention this, right? So guys, if you haven't already, please come join our trading community. It's a beautiful community um, of beautiful traders. I don't know if they're beautiful or not. They might be, who knows? Um, but yeah, guys, if you want to talk to like-minded traders, share knowledge, ideas, right? Trading can be a bit of a lonely place. Then please come join our trading community. Join our free Discord channel, okay? It's free. Come in, verify yourself. Um, also, guys, if you want more than that and you want access to my trade signals, you want access to my tutorials and strategies, and you want direct access to me plus other VIP traders, 
then uh, come join the VIP Trading Academy. And right now, guys, we're running a promotion. If you just open an account with any of our preferred brokers, we will give you free access. It's as simple as that. You just have to open an account. We let you in and throw rose petals at your feet. All right, so come join that, guys. Also, during the week, don't forget, live stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 a.m., New York EST time. Get all your questions ready for me, and I will bat them out of the park. Um, right here. Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar, we've just done. We're looking at that. Also, New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Yeah, look, at Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, honestly, they're like the strongest force of in the world i'm exaggerating a little bit um but weekly chart right clearly in an uptrend and we more importantly we broke these highs so we're in an uptrend and just look at these weekly candles just bullish bullish right um i would still look for a bit of a retrace and then take price back up to here it doesn't have a lot of room to move into because if i scroll actually look at the monthly chart you can see this eight six thousand psychological level makes sense as a bit of a target here right so we're just looking for a retrace and take it back up but that's still 40 pips as we speak right before we even get a retrace um and yeah there is one um swiss franc pair that i'm looking at and it's pound swiss franc i know i said at the start guys um i'm kind of avoiding these but this is a unique swiss franc pair because weekly is in an uptrend right and that's pound swiss franc okay so we was in this if we just follow structure we were in this downtrend and then bang right uptrend we're getting higher highs higher lows uptrend we've also retraced to a very nice area of support right what was once resistance becomes support we love this setup guys we love this setup more than we love bad swinger jokes right um and the idea would be to come all the way back up to here right um so yeah pound swiss franc buys and you know aussie dollar and new zealand dollar as you know like ultimate warrior and hulk hogan so Basically, I'm looking at Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, and this would suggest that New Zealand dollar is the strongest. So the ultimate warrior is stronger than Hulk Hogan, right? You heard it here first, guys, right? Don't, any letters of complaint, please pile it to the editor. But if you just look at this weekly chart, I do like to go off on a tangent. I have to entertain myself, guys, right? So it was in this channel. Everything looked like, you know, this was going to happen and everything was coming up, right, at that point. But it didn't, right? It broke down and this is where we find ourselves. We've now got lower highs, lower lows, right? This is in a downtrend and it broke out of this channel. And there's more. It's using this channel plus this support level sorry resistance level through here as resistance you've got like double and you've got the moving average 20 so there's like triple whammy resistance here to take this back down to these lows all right guys so yeah those are all of my swing trades for this week guys and if you've enjoyed the vid don't forget to subscribe like and share check out all the promotions we've got running at the moment um, in our video description um, and have a great trading week see you during the week guys